Okay guys, so it's me again, Paul P. Welcome to the new episode. Now, I just uh, finished uh, checking out the other house that I'm fixing. And guess what? These arrived. I actually ordered um, a few flat bars of stainless steel. Then I had my workers cut it and grind it to make these. This is a metal skewer. It's not a sword. It looks like a sword. Laser sword. By the power of Grayskull, you know. Crouching tiger hidden but a hidden panda. It's basically just a piece of flat stainless steel. Kinda hard. But sharpened at the edge. Well, just the tip. Sides are not sharp. It's basically a metal skewer, a giant metal skewer. Now, why is it this long? Well, because my outdoor grill, the homemade grill that my staff made for me, is roughly this long, uh, this wide. So if I put this exactly there, I can put this on the edge and the meat will be here and it will grill without anything, without anything there. It's just coals. So it's gonna completely grill. And it, since it's metal, it won't burn and you can flip it over to grill the other side so today's episode will be believe it or not i'm going to try my version of tandoori chicken well technically it's not tandoori chicken because i don't have a tandoor oven but it is grilled indian style chicken so tara let's head to the kitchen and start cooking see ya okay guys Let's start off with yogurt. Next, we're going to add in a lot of garlic. Yes, we're going to finish all this garlic. It's probably about four cloves of garlic. Okay, after that, we're going to add in our spices. We have salt, pepper, some curry powder, some tandoori masala, and some ground cumin. I pre-toasted this, so it's no problem. It's going to be very aromatic. There. We're going to mix this together. Then we're going to add our chicken cubes. Now, based on the skewer, my chicken cubes are quite large because my skewer is large. Okay, we're going to marinate this for at least 30 minutes to overnight. Okay, that's it. After it's been marinating, we're going to skew it. Start off with one. You it all the way, almost to the base, so you have enough space for the other piece of meat. There, make sure it's tightly compact, and that's it. Let's head to the grill. Okay, make sure the grill is hot. You put your tandoori or grilled chicken skewer across. There, look at that. Once it's slightly brown on one side, you flip it. The technique here is you have to flip it once in a few minutes so that you will get an evenly cooking uh, method and it's good to brown evenly. There. If you notice, I flipped it again and then basically I flipped it about 8 times. And that's it. That's our chicken tandoori. So, finished cooking everything. Actually, <laughs> added a bit more butter to this. Make it more decadent. You can see. You know, basmati rice is nice when it's really buttery. You know, when you add ghee. You're supposed to add ghee, but no. I don't have ghee. I didn't clarify my butter. So, here's what I got. Look at that. Ooh. Chicken is cooked all the way through. Thank you, metal skewer. There. 
take a cut. Oh yes, it's still moist inside. Nice and juicy. We'll try the chicken as is first. Nice and chickeny. We get that flavor from the cumin, the flavor from the masala, tandoori masala, that curry powder, and that uh, nice peppery from the black pepper. I like it. Now we'll try it with a bit of the buttery basmati rice. Here, yeah, look at that. Chicken and buttery basmati rice. That basmati rice is really fluffy, super buttery. I actually seasoned the rice when I cooked it. I just didn't show it to you. It's basically the same one with my fried rice, but you just boil it or you let it sit for 30 minutes, then you boil it and just strain it. But I added salt to the boiling water to season the rice. It's actually working really nice. Now, the tandoori itself, if I were to fix it a bit, I would have added a bit more cumin and a bit more chili pepper or chili powder. Give that mm. But all in all, flavor-wise, it's not dry. It's very juicy. It's very flavorful. It's actually inducing more saliva in my mouth, which means I'm getting hungrier and hungrier every, with every bite, which is perfect. That's how it's supposed to be. Now look at this. This is the char mark. We're gonna cut into this. I think my new kitchen addition, which is that uh, skewer, is perfect for dishes like this. You know what? Next time I might try beef kebab at home. I don't have a shawarma machine. Shawarma machine. But that would have been perfect too. For a second bite, a bit more butter. There. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That bite was a match made in heaven. Okay. So I think our experiment with the chicken tandoori, well technically it's not tandoori because there's no tandoor oven. It's actually a success. Only thing here is, I wish I cooked more. I only made one skewer because uh, I have seven of those skewers, the gigantic metal skewers, but I only made one. So it only fit one whole chicken breast on one. Okay, so that's for that's it for the vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Well, I'm thinking of making something like barbecue. Okay, so thank you for watching, bye bye, and till we eat again, see you in my dining room, Taraka and Tayo.